The striking diversity of human skin appearance can be readily perceived in the visible domain. However, there is much more to skin appearance than meets the eye. For example, photos obtained using cameras equipped with specialized sensors show distinct appearance features in the ultraviolet and infrared domains. While the ultraviolet enhancements of freckles and other pigmentation irregularities is regularly used in appearance-based interventions to increase sun protection practices. The infrared ethereal appearance of human skin is often employed in artistic imaging. In this work, we present Helios, a novel hyperspectral model for simulating skin appearance features using a first principles approach based on Monte Carlo methods. Within this framework, Reflection, absorption, and transmission processes are simulated, and their responses quantified in terms of BSS-RDF by computing the distances traveled by light within the cutaneous tissues. Helios incorporates the main light-absorbing materials acting within the various skin layers in the ultraviolet, visible, and infrared domains. It also incorporates the main scattering materials found within these layers, such as large cellular structures, melanin-containing organelles known as melanosomes, and collagen fibers. Moreover, Helios accounts for the fact that melanosomes may form complexes of different sizes or appear individually dispersed within the epidermal layers of skin specimens with different levels of melanin pigmentation. In a proposed framework, a melanosome is probabilistically positioned on the fly within the given epidermal layer, and the traversing light ray is either absorbed inside the melanosome or scattered. In the latter case, the melanosome is discarded and the new one is generated. This process is repeated until the ray is either terminated or scattered outside of the layer. In the case of melanosome complexes, the same on the fly positioning procedure is employed with the traversing light ray also interacting with the encapsulated melanosomes, where it can be absorbed. For more technical details involving the simulation approach employed by Helios, please refer to our paper. We evaluated Helios predictions through comparisons with measured data and experimental observations reported in the literature. When light traverses the epidermal layers, it may be subjected to multiple interactions with melanosomes and melanosome complexes, a phenomenon known as detour effect that may increase light absorption by melanin in comparison with the homogeneous solution of this pigment. Conversely, the traversing light may not encounter a melanosome, a phenomenon known as sieve effect that may reduce light absorption by melanin in comparison with the homogeneous solution of this pigment. Previous spectral models do not account for these phenomena which affect the accuracy of predictions in the visible domain, notably in the blue end of the visible spectrum, where attenuation is dominated by the melanins. Moreover, a strong forward subsurface scattering behavior of the epidermis, notably in the ultraviolet domain, is properly simulated by the first principles approach employed by Helios. Since Helios accounts for the distribution of melanated melanosomes, it can provide modeled results that closely approximate their measured counterparts in the ultraviolet and visible domains. It can also provide close approximations in the infrared region, where attenuation is dominated by water and lipids. The angular dependency of the spatial distribution of light interacting with human skin is also captured by Helios. Moreover, while surface reflectance dominates in the ultraviolet domain, subsurface reflectance dominates in the infrared resulting in a more diffuse distribution of infrared light, which is also captured by Helios. Our modeled reflectance curves can be reproduced using the online version of Helios. We also generated images to further illustrate the predictive capabilities of Helios in the hyperspectral domain. For example, a progressive increase in the overall epidermal melanin content is followed by a fast convergence to low reflectance values in the ultraviolet domain due to the strong attenuation effect of eumelanin and femelanin in this region of the light spectrum. In the infrared domain, where the spectral responses are primarily determined by the absorption bands of water, a decrease in the water content of the cutaneous tissues results in an increase in the overall skin reflectance. 
Note that model results can be obtained not only for uniformly pigmented regions characterized by average pigmentation parameters, but also for non-uniformly pigmented regions characterized by distinct pigmentation parameters. The presence of pigmentation irregularities is accentuated under ultraviolet light due to the strong attenuation properties of the melanin-laden melanosomes in the spectral domain. Under near-infrared light, however, such pigmentation features are less noticeable and the specimen is characterized by a soft, more diffuse ethereal appearance. Note that the overall reflectance becomes less diffuse and the presence of pigmentation irregularities becomes undetectable at wavelengths characterized by stronger water absorption. We remarked that Helios predictions can be quantified in terms of BSSRDF or BRDF. While a minor contribution of subsurface reflectance in the ultraviolet domain makes the differences between BSSRDF and BRDF responses negligible, the major contribution of subsurface reflectance in the near infrared domain makes the differences between BSSRDF and BRDF responses quite noticeable. Finally, we remarked that Helios can be seamlessly integrated into rendering pipelines aimed at applications in the visible, as well as in the hyperspectral domain. We have presented a novel hyperspectral skin appearance model that accounts for the complex structure of human skin, as well as the particle nature and distribution patterns of its main light attenuation agents, in order to predictively simulate skin spectral and spatial responses in the visible, ultraviolet, and infrared domains.